Hello everyone, it's Roxy and today I'm going to teach you how to get every single achievement in Awesome Nuts, the video game. So it's going to be transforming that into that. So uh, first of all, you need to know there is not a magic trick that's going to allow you to do that. You will need to form. You will need to play multiple hours, a lot of hours and dedication to that game. And you cannot just become uh, good and have all the achievements without playing. So. It's not no trick. Uh, you need to play. So let's go through the list. We have a bunch uh, today. Uh, I'm gonna explain all of them. A lot are obviously so logical. I don't have to show anything. Some are more tricky, so I will go for it. So obviously, one one game session. It's pretty self-explanatory. Collect the solo same unlock three character. Make the first kill of the session. Invite someone. You just go to the top right and you invite a friend of yours. Kill at 10 enemy also not in the game, it's easy. The only one tricky on that slide will be uh, to kill an enemy without buying anything. But like you can see with Magno right now, it's really not hard. Uh, just stay with your teammate, wait for one person to be low. Uh, my advice will be to use either Gno, because uh, he has DOT, so it's quite easy. Or uh, someone with a gun, like Lone Star, Raylan. Uh, because of the range, make it quite easy to get kills. All right, uh, so like I said, most of the achievements are just about farming. So winning 100 games is just literally farm, killing awesome nuts, killing droids, collecting solo, killing super droid, uh, super uh, solo boss. All of them are uh, just by farming, killing turrets to uh, get killed by a creep is just being um, humiliated. Um, probably everyone has it. Uh, like I said, solo, win with different game, get the first blood is just killing the first person the first time, it's quite uh, logical. Uh, here there's one more uh, difficult, creepy virus, get infected, it's either you need to be in the same game as that person, that one. Uh, placing 100 wigglings, you just need to play it all. Then we get to the one that are a bit more tricky and longer. So obviously the million solo is quite long, but you will get it. Destroy four turrets in a single match is something that took me quite some time. Uh, my advice will be to play Lonely Star and focus only on the turret. The difficulty here is that you need uh, the last hit, so just keep the dynamite and use it at the right moment. Tenting is just that's logical. For play against a team that has the same uh, type of you, uh, you can either try to do it in custom if you want, or you will eventually have that happening in your life while farming for like every single other achievement. Uh, for win a game session with two friends split screen, uh, there's actually a trick on that one. You can use uh, the custom setting, invite two person and win. So about the custom setting, because uh, I need to talk about that. For the next slide, uh, so you're gonna see it's kind of, uh, that's where like the tough, not tough, but the different uh, thing that need to be done to get the achievement are necessary. And it's important for you to understand that uh, you cannot cheat on Awesome Nuts. Meaning that you cannot just go in custom, change the roles, and then expect the achievement to unlock. For example, you cannot just uh, create a bot match with no bot and destroy all four turrets by yourself. You will not get the achievement. Uh, to get the achievement, it needs to be a classic game in a custom. Uh, if you start modifying one element, then it doesn't count. So let's go over uh, the one that I like kind of easy. So you can kill a solo boss before uh, 2 minutes 10. That one you can do in custom if you just don't modify anything. Uh, my best advice will be to take no, put two winglings and uh, kill him on the spot. That's what you can see on the screen right now. And uh, obviously 10 seconds is plenty of time. You can do it uh, with probably clunk, probably scree. You cannot do it with scoop. Gno is the easiest so go for it. Uh, at the same time, while you are Gnaw, you can easily get the first kill and uh, feed uh, the worm uh, if you play on Serona. <clears throat> so by feeding the worm, it's self uh, exploratory. Just put the wing lanes and go top and make it hit. So then another trick that I saw on uh, Reddit, and that's why I decided to make that video, is the race with Coco from uh, one solo drill to another solo drill in less than 12 seconds on Serona. So by solo drill, we mean the base. So the upgrade that you need is obviously a longer um, electricity boost to like uh, the, the speed, the thingy like that make you faster and movement speed 
and obviously movement speed on that upgrade. That being said, you can just see on the screen, you take a jump pad, take another jump pad, and you should make it in 11 seconds. To get the maximum possible health as Clunk, like you can see, you need to buy uh, the upgrade that gives you additional heal on uh, bite, uh, pills, and wait to be level 20, in addition to bite uh, 6% or 10%, well, the maximum amount at least. And if I'm not mistaken, your health should be 4,700 and something. Bensing uh, Beard Justice, become awesome. So that one is probably one of the trickiest one. To become awesome, uh, you need uh, to get with your team, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a lot of kills without dying. I think it's 9 or 12. I'll just pop the answer because I don't want to fuck up that. Uh, so I two screenshots of sometimes team become awesome, so sometimes it's me, sometimes it's the other team. It's usually uh, when you destroy an enemy team and they don't get kills and you get 9 kills in a row. I think it's more than 9 kills, I think it's 12 kills in a row. So it's not easy, but it can be achieved. Kill Ted as Clunk, it's self-explanatory. As Coco win a game together with Cree, just pick Coco, ask someone to play Cree or just wait for that to happen. And finally, uh, unlock the Slow Wolf, Slow Wolf achievement. Uh, you just need to invite someone. Uh, I think Slow Wolf did a pretty nice video about uh, how does that work, so you can just go to it, but you basically just have, need to invite someone uh, that hasn't played for more than 30 days. All right, and the last uh, achievement or type of achievement at least are the prestige. So there's 10 of them, and they're probably the toughest and longest one to get because you will need to learn uh, to play a lot. So first, uh, I'd like to say that prestige does not reflect on your skill level. It's not because you're facing someone that is max prestige that it means is better than you or worse than you. Uh, it's kind of a fake uh, way and a wrong way to determine skill level because uh, it's changed over year. Basically, to get prestige, you need to level up to the max level, say that you want to pass prestige, and you need to start that over and over again. <coughs> Excuse me. The thing is that back in the days, it was taking only 75 level to prestige up. Now it takes 185. So the time that you need to put into prestiging up has increased drastically. That's why it's not really like relevant of your skill level. However, so I'm going to teach you. Uh, so there's a way to prestige faster. So basically, you prestige by getting uh, XP at the end of every game. You get XP based on four characteristics, the number of soda that you got during the game, uh, if you won or if you lost, uh, if you're random, and if you played split screen. So uh, if you play a normal game and uh, you play it legitly, you will get around uh, 20 to 45,000 XP within a game. And it's uh, the only normal way, legit way, without kind of cheating, like people say, to prestige job. It's long, it's painful, it takes time, but it's true, meaning that you actually learn how to play the game. So for me, that is the best way to prestige job, and you should not do what I say after. I'm saying it because I want the guide that to be complete, and uh, if, I, um, if I don't say that, someone is going to say it in the comment section, and it's going to be fake. So you have two other different options than to level up. Both require you to go into the custom match. So if you modify custom, uh, you're going to lose uh, the win uh, bonuses because it's going to be decreased and you're going to lose the solar bonuses. However, you can easily finish the game within 10 seconds. Uh, thanks to the new uh, settings and everything, you can just put three person on a split screen. To do that, you either need to change the key configuration on the option or plug the Xbox controller for the third person. And uh, you just change it, all the seating in order to have no opponent, no turret, more damage, uh, everything but most movement speed, and you just rush base. You will get uh, an average of, um, I'd say, 5,000, 6,000 for every game. Uh, it requires 20 seconds to do a game, so that's basically how you can farm prestige. Uh, I think it's a stupid idea, but people probably do it because I did it differently, but I did something similar back in the days. Mine was way more complicated and intense, but whatever. And uh, so yeah, so that's a way to do it. Uh, I agree, it's bad, but Ronnie Mo didn't uh, 
find a solution to that yet. So maybe by posting that video, they will uh, figure something out. And uh, the other way is uh, different. It's uh, it's still custom, but you don't don't change any roles. So you will still have three person on your own skins. You will uh, pick up random. You will kill uh, your enemy and destroy the turret because it's a legit game and you didn't like change all the roles. Uh, you will get the bonus uh, for win and you will get the solo. So you will get around. Mm, I'd say 30,000, the number will be on the screen, 30,000 XP every game, and it requires around five minutes to do a game. Uh, it's still cheating, cheating, because it's just uh, you going versus bots on level zero and rushing base, but at least you have the decency to face a fake opponent and learn to like use your AA, use your skills, instead of just going forward and rush base. Uh, I think the best option is obviously the first one, since uh, it, re it requires you to play real game, learn about the gameplay, the mechanics, and enjoy the game. There is no point to like be max prestige if you don't deserve it. Uh, it's just dumb. Like any any person with three hours could like be that, but it, it's not fun. So I don't think you should be doing those two options. But they're available for you, so I'm giving them out uh, anyway. Dan Pixie, uh, yeah, that Yeah, that being said, uh, Prestige doesn't reflect on your skills. You can check on the leaderboard. You can check on the rank. Uh, there's, the, I think, 2,112 person with max Prestige out of the 20,000 registered on the leaderboard right now. If you look at top 20, a lot never passed Prestige. A lot just stopped after Prestige 1. It, it's not a big deal, but whatever. No, that's it. You know it. You got all the achievement. Congratulations. You are awesome. You have mastered the universe and you can say that you have 100% completed awesome notes. Even though obviously it's not the case since it's a MOBA. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If I missed out something, uh, please tell me in the comment section. Um, yeah, my name is Roxy. I'm doing a weekly montage video of dope clip and fails. I'm doing tutorials, random videos, and full game of League One plays. Uh, yeah, thanks and uh, enjoy the game. Bye.